Hey Maddie and Alex, you finally did it. It's only been the third time. We've rescheduled a couple times, and now we're here. What a wonderful event. What a fantastic event. You know, Maddie, it, it doesn't matter how, you know, your age or, or where you are in life, you will always be my baby girl, always. Alex, I know you will treat Maddie like pure gold, but just in case, remember that I do know where you live. Hello, my name is Chris and I am the father of the groom. You know, as a parent, the number one responsibility that you have is to make sure that you provide the means and the ability for your kids to come out ahead of where you were when you were growing up. But you can give the kids everything. You can give them the money, you can give them support, you can give them education. But if they don't grasp it and take a hold of it, then it's not worth anything. And I can honestly say that, Alex, you are a lot farther ahead in life right now where I was when I was your age. And I appreciate that. Maddie, from the very first time we met, I knew it was meant to be. You're not only the woman of my dreams, my one and only love, but my best friend. I have dreamed and thought of this day since that night we first said I love you. As I think back to July 17th, 2012, I think of how far we've come and how much we've grown individually and together. And I immediately then think about our future together. God truly made you perfect in every way, and I can't thank God enough for letting our paths cross. I love you, and I will see you at the altar. Well, it has been quite a year, and um, I think it's pretty awesome that in all the insanity and the chaos, even the ugliness of 2020, that here we are together, uh, beholding beauty, beholding goodness, and beholding love today. This year will be a year to remember, but for you two, um, you'll get to remember it as the year God officially began, the Alex and Maddie Zooks project. Oh, beautiful. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's your big day. You ready? To my future husband, of all the letters I have written you, this is my favorite. This is a letter to the one I love most and the one I get to call my husband in two short hours. Since that July night of 2012, where we became one, my love for you has never wavered. Life throws curveballs and some things I'm never really sure about, but you're my one constant and the one thing I've always been sure about. As a little girl, I dreamed of what my husband would be like. What would he look like? What would his favorite color be? What would it feel like to look into his eyes? The day I met you, I knew the answers to those questions. From the start, you swept me off my feet and gave me a once in a lifetime feeling. I kept thinking to myself, am I dreaming? Because my reality had suddenly become better than my dreams. You complete me, comfort me, and raise me up to feel so confident, beautiful, and loved. As we begin this journey together, I remember back to the simpler times of being 17 together, the love we shared, the memories we made, and the strong foundation we built together. Here's to forever strengthening that foundation even further, growing together, and never letting our love for one another fade. I'm forever yours, Maddie. Maddie, Madison. First of all, First of all, I want to tell you I love you. If I'm able to read this without crying, we have made some progress. <laughs> when I think about this day, I can't help but give glory to God. He truly did place the most amazing, and I would argue perfect, person in my life. 
Through these eight years of dating, there have been some downs and many highs. There have been many changes, but one thing has stayed constant, which is my love for you. This truly is one of the most amazing days of my life. I can't thank your family enough for trusting me to take care of you and love you. Alexander, the moment I met you, I had this gut feeling about us. People would often ask me early on, do you think he's the one? I would often weave around the question for fear of sounding silly if I said yes at the young age of 17. But truthfully, I knew. I can't turn the page. <laughs> Hang on. Oh my gosh. I knew we'd be standing here eight beautiful years later. I knew three months in when I received a handwritten letter from you saying I will marry you one day, which I have here with me today. I knew it because I got that once in a lifetime feeling, just being with you. I thought we would be standing here on April 11th <laughs> and then on June 27th. But our God had other plans. He knew I needed extra days to love you and extra days to just be your fiance. He must have known that we needed this extra time to go stronger in our relationship with him and with each other. He gave us extra time to learn from each other, learn from our relationship, and build an even stronger foundation. September 18th is our miracle date and the one God picked fully for us. As I stand here today, surrounded by the ones who love us so big, I can't help but think back to all the memories we have made and all the ones we have left to make. From celebrating our 17th birthday together, being my prom date, attending college together, to being the future father of our children and the one I will grow old with, I've realized that all of life's most beautiful moments I have and will share with you. Alex, you may kiss your bride.